I swear there's an explanation for this. Hi there, retro gamers. Today's vlog is about my pile of shame. But before we get to that, you might notice that something is different. I'm actually being represented by this Lego minifig that my girlfriend got for me. And I'm joined by this minifig of Pouncer too. Hello, Pouncer. Hello. So, the pile of shame. My pile of shame is my pile of games that I've not completed or even started. What does this have to do with me being made of Lego? Well, it's to illustrate scale for a comic effect. You see, it's quite a big pile. Also, these are only the games I could stack safely. As you can imagine, this is intolerable. So I'm going to choose one game, just one game, and get stuck into this utter embarrassment. I suppose you think that's funny, don't you? You know what, Pouncer? I've had an idea. Maybe we should analyse the reasons why some games are in the pile of shame. What do you think? Well, let's start with the basics. Some of these games are absolutely terrible. My brother and I buy each other bad games. I had a series called Scott Plays Bad Games While Hammered. And once I'd played them and got the footage I wanted, there really wasn't any reason to play them anymore. There is no reason on this earth to complete Shaq Fu. Some games in the pile of shame are just too damn hard. There are plenty of games in the pile that, for whatever reason, I simply cannot get good at. No matter how much I practice, I remain utterly shite at them. By far the biggest section, though, are the games I simply don't have time to play. The big RPGs, the long narratives, the strategy games that require patience and thought. I genuinely have so little free time, it would take me months to complete these. And then, there are games for which I simply have no excuse. I mean, Metal Gear Solid 3 is a masterpiece. Blood, sweat, tears, probably a few divorces went into the making of this. And yet, every time I sit down to finish it, something happens. My car breaks down. Pouncer shits under the bath. Yeah, that happened once. And no matter what it is, it breaks my flow. I stop picking up the game. Metal Gear Solid 3 is my biggest regret in the pile of shame. So, tell me, what's in your pile of shame? Games you've never finished, games you've never started. Do you have terrible, unwanted presents from well-meaning but clueless relatives? Everyone should leave their answers down below, shouldn't they, Pouncer? And they should hit like and subscribe too, and they should share this with everyone they know. Yes, they should. As always, massive thanks to everyone who commented on my last video. A lot of you are asking why Turok wasn't on the list of dino moments. I'm happy to say that I've bought an N64 and there will be a Turok video in the near future. Also, check out Mitch Hutz on Geek and Sundry Vlogs. He does amazing cocktails based on geek culture that will make you so drunk, you'll end up with a cat on your head. That's all for now. I'll see you in two weeks, and, as always, good work, retro gamers! I'll most likely kill you in the morning.